Hello, everyone. My name is Hani. I would like to introduce you to an adorable and cute, adventuresome short story I wrote about my cat. It is called Mitzi and the Talking Door. Since I find Mitzi to be so adorable and funny and loves to get into things, I thought, why not write a short story about one of her adventures? It is a short story not only for children and animal lovers, but for adults as well. I believe humans can learn a thing or two from my cat in this story. I am giving you a preview of the story because I don't want to give too much away. I want to pique your curiosity so you will want to buy the book from us. So without further ado, on with the preview. Hello, my name is Mitzi and my owner's name is Hani. I want to tell you what happened to me one morning when I was going back to my house. My story begins one morning when I rushed through the door and my owner, Hani, saw me. Sweat was pouring down my face, so she picked me up, held me close, and gave me kisses until I calmed down. I started crying. Meow. Meow! Hani grew really concerned and kissed me some more. Why are you sweating and why are your cheeks all wet? Hani asked. I started to cry again. Meow. Meow! Hani picked me up again and held me close and said, Please stop crying, Mitzi. It's okay. I'm here right beside you. I can't stop shaking, I cried. What is happening to me? Would you like to talk about it? Maybe you will feel better after. Can I please relax a little bit first, I suggested. Then I will tell you all about it. Sure, Honey said. Then I sat in my favorite blanket and wrapped my tail around my face. That helps me relax. And a few minutes later, I felt better. Now I can tell you what happened. And this is my story. Earlier today, I went out on an adventure, chasing butterflies and rolling in the grass. Later, I came back into the building, skipping and laughing. Suddenly, I stopped in my tracks. I thought I heard something. I started up the stairs, and I heard something again. I looked around to see if I could find anything to defend myself with, since I was not sure if my claws were sharp enough. I tried hissing. That should scare anything away, I thought. I continued to climb the stairs when half a floor below ours, I saw the strangest thing. The door to the apartment came alive. It had a face, arms, and a mouth, and it was singing a strange tune, and then it stopped when it saw me, looking at it. Then I started to speak, saying, Now that I have given you an idea of what the story is about, please contact either Mitzi or myself with any questions you may have or if you would like to order the book from us. One thing that I need to mention here is that 5% of each sale of the book will be donated to the children of Sederot. Sederot is located in the south of Israel, and they, among other places, have been bombarded by rockets from Gaza for the past 12 years. One way of supporting them is by buying our book. You can contact us by email at hani, H-A-N-N-I, at netvision, N-E-T-V-I-S-I-O-N, period, N-E-T, period, I-L. Or if you find yourself in downtown Jerusalem on either a Monday or Tuesday morning, you can come over to the Israel Center and find me in the lobby. The address is Rehov Karen Hayosad, number 22, across from the Dan Panorama Hotel. Thank you and look forward to hearing from you.